Mud and happiness go together in the world of elephants. Episode 8 of our elephant behaviour series is all about mud splashing. Elephants very rarely pass up on an opportunity to make the most of seasonal rains and the muddy surrounds of dams and rivers. It seems as though it is a very satisfying behaviour for elephants, but there is also a lot of health benefits to this seemingly fun activity. The mud that is splashed onto their bodies by the use of their trunks, and sometimes their feet too, creates a natural sunscreen from the harsh African sun, but it also helps to coat the skin to deter insects from biting them. Not only that, but it also helps them keep cool too. So it has a similar function as the behavior dusting that we covered in episode 4 of the series. But, being wet, the mud creates a more long-lasting effect as it adheres to the skin. Often you will see elephants dusting themselves after a good mud splashing to help set the mud into place. This is often the reason why you see elephants looking different shades of colour in different regions of Africa, as the colours of the sand and soil differ from place to place. It also explains why albino elephant Kanyisa looks a whole lot pinker after she has had a good swim and rinsed away the mud and sand she had learned to coat herself with. So let's take a look at where mud splashing features in the wonderful elephant ethogram created by Elephant Voices. The ethogram is a platform which references all the various elephant behaviours and which context they can be seen in. Let's take a look at our elephant behaviour context wheel. Mud splashing is seen in only one context of elephant behaviour, which is maintenance. Elephant Voices describes the context maintenance as follows. Behaviours or activity states, excluding interaction, employed by elephants for basic subsistence. Elephant Voices describes the behaviour mud splashing as follows. Using vigorous kicking or swinging movements of the forelegs to splash mud or water onto the body, or using the trunk to scoop up mud or water and throw and blow it onto the body. Kicking is used to splash muddy water onto the underside of the body, while the trunk is used to direct mud or water to specific locations. Although this is a behaviour that is engaged in by all age and sex groups, ostensibly to keep cool and or protect against biting insects, it is a skill that must be learned and perfected. And as far as we are aware, mud splashing is not observed among young infants. It's time to take a look back at some mud splashing video clip examples picked from our herd video archives. Fish and Booby both love to wallow and spend lots of time in water and dams, given their opportunity. This clip sees them both in the muddy edge of a dam. Booby uses her left foreleg vigorously to kick up mud onto her underbelly and sides of her body. And Fishin uses his trunk to spread the mud around his body. You can often see the characters of the elephants coming out in such movements, as some elephants, such as Booby, are a lot more dramatic in their movements, as you can see in this clip.
Our second example is from a very dry, wintry day. Samapani is seen enjoying a relaxed, mud-splashing session, using his trunk to splash the mud on his upper torso in a very sluggish-like manner. Just behind Samapani, you see yet another rather large submerged elephant, who is no other than the dominant bull, Sabakwe, who, as we know, just loves spending as much time as possible in water. Sumapani uses his trunk again to splash mud onto his head and body. He then proceeds to use his trunk to splash water on his right side, trying to cover the entirety of his body. As Sumapani continues to use his right foreleg to loosen up the mud beneath the water, Sabakwe is starting to stir in the background, and it would be rather rude not to mention the rather curious giraffe passing by on the other side of the dam too. Mumbo is being Mumbo here, and like we mentioned earlier in the video, often their personalities and characters shine through in moments like this. He's ensuring he gets as much attention as possible while mud splashing with his foreleg. This will be partial mud splashing behavior as well as partial lone play behavior. We will touch on lone play behavior in future episodes of this series. Hello, Pisa. I just like air fishing. I just like a fish. Hmm? I can eat. Elephant Bull Fission is at it again. He has joined Pisa and some of the younger elephants for a good mud bath and makes sure he gets prime position first. He then loosens the mud with his foreleg, making it easier for his trunk to scoop it up and splash it onto his body. This is an interesting clip as young elephant bull Mumbo is seen trying to splash mud onto the right side of his body. However, if you watch his tail closely, it seems to be targeting the same area that he is trying to spray mud onto. This would be targeting a potential insect bite perhaps, to try assist in soothing it with the mud as well as with his tail. The movement with his tail is called tail swatting. Young Kumbura is seen here enjoying the muddy wallow, the result of a rainy day and mud splashing elephants. Fission's favourite place is anywhere with water. Since he fractured his leg in 2018, he spends a lot more time in water, 
whether it be swimming, wallowing, playing, or mud splashing. You can see in these little highlights of the clip how he uses his trunk to both splash mud on top of his head and torso, as well as on the sides of his body, making sure he is caked as much as possible with mud and obviously having the most enjoyment possible too. The Jabalani herd have just arrived at one of the dams and they could not hold themselves back from getting tucked into some playful mud splashing. There is a lot going on. We have Lindy, Kumbura, Tokwe, Limpopo, Tamisa and Kanisa all huddled together in the front group. Kanisa was still very little at the time, so they continued to surround her while they enjoy the muddy waters, all the while still teaching Kanisa as she continues to learn and give a little fumble and tumble whilst being in their company. Luni decides to walk towards deeper waters and Kanisa and the herd follow on. Well, we hope that you enjoyed our mud splashing examples for this episode and that you've learned another elephant behavior that you can now easily not only identify, but understand the reason as to why so many elephants are doing it. Thanks for supporting herd by watching, liking, commenting on and sharing our videos. See you in episode 9.